guys, look what I surprisingly still have in one piece. My extra 300. So if you saw my uh, last video on this, <clears throat> flying around, heard some cracking and then uh, when I was moving the elevator, or just flying around, and then I moved the elevator, or I moved, just moved all the control surfaces to make sure to see which one was cracking, and it was sure enough, the rudder. So the rudder was up there cracking, and then all of a sudden it got stuck in a right position, right? So I was coming in like this, right? And sure enough, I walk over there, and the whole dang thing is uh, disconnected. The only thing holding it in still is the ball link, and the very bottom piece was just barely in like this much. So basically I took the ball link off, and I took two fingers and just went, and I just went, boop, and the whole entire rudder came out. So that would have been uh, interesting and bad at the same time, but, um, yeah so <laughs> let's uh go ahead and see this my gear obviously is always bent as you guys know because i land it like crap um drake over there that's next to fly so let's go ahead and rip this around see what we got probably need three or four click clicks of uh rudder i'm assuming safe mode all in working order so Oh, I got stuck in the crack. Hate getting stuck in these cracks. <laughs> All right. Pull my uh, sleeve over my watch here and go ahead and get started. Try it at first, and then the uh, rudder comes off. Then we'll know that my uh, gluing skills weren't just very good. So, let's do this. That prop is really good. Recommend anybody who has this airplane get that prop. I really feel like it's a lot better than the stock. Sounds pretty good too. All right, there's test number one of uh, see if the prop holds on. I'm actually not noticing it uh, going to the left or right. Well, yeah, I am. I lied. <laughs> All right. So I did give it a little bit of right. Let's see how it is now. All right, a little bit right, right, right. All right, we're good. Bring it on back now. Full throttle. Zoom, sling whips. Rips, oh, now it's too much, huh. Okay, well, go back one or two. Now that seems too much, okay. We'll just leave it like right in center and see what happens. Or it could be the wind, I don't know. It's flying just fine though. So, do some crazy crap. See if that ball link falls off or not. Boom, was that a flat spin? I think I just got in a flat spin without even trying. It sounds really good too, with this uh, nylon glass, plastic prop, whatever you want to even call it. It sounds a lot better than the uh, wood one. Oh, neck. Oh, there you go, pop my neck, okay. <laughs> Feeling a lot better now. All right, out of safe mode. Come on down this way. Circle around and do a knife edge. Over the trees. Hopefully not put it in one. Coming down low. All right, knife edge three, two, one. Boom, look at that, right down the road. No, oh, perfect, perfect, keep it holding, hold, hold it, hold it, oh, boom. Look at that. I'm sure the neighbors love that if they were outside. Probably like, God, look at that thing away from my house. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be hovering it up the street one day. No, I'm just kidding, my neighbors though, they, they enjoy this. Uh, RC stuff I got. I think it's pretty cool. Pressing out the rudder there. It's still working good. Nah, they love it. They think it's cool. They they support me. Oh, that's a bad knife edge. Well, oh, okay. All right, 
rudder seems to be working good. My gluing job did pretty good. Look at that throw on them. Ailerons, holy cow. I love it. Too good, man. This thing is too good. And sure, yeah, if I get a big old gas 3D plane, this thing will be nothing then, but for an electric 3D airplane, I don't know what else you can get better than this. Oh, crap. I think the wind just pushed it down right as I was starting to dive down. That's why it went so steep. <laughs> that was a little scary there. Happens, though, you know? Nah, 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 nah. Let's try some rolling harriers. Rolling Harriers. All right, up over here. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna be very good, is it? Well, I'm a little bit rusty, haven't done this in a while. Yeah, got out of it. Sweatshirt's itching my neck too. All right, try it again. Set up for a landing and maybe pass of it in the air, I don't know. I haven't done a thumbnail with it in the air, I don't think, for a while. No. Alrighty, guys, this thing is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I didn't give it enough rudder. Thought I was having enough, but nope, not enough for that. Hopefully we got a thumbnail shot there. You know, let's just hover right in front of me. Make that thumbnail. Hopefully you guys enjoy this thumbnail. Uh, battery's getting low. I don't want to do the same thing and uh, screw up the rudder like last time hovering and the dang thing dies. So, about to land. All right, battery's dead. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to come around again. Looks fast anyways, more than my likings. A little bit of wing straight there, all good. Man, yeah, there's why my gear's turned up. I do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Well, any gear works, so that's all that I care about. That prop, that prop, guys. I don't know, I think it's a lot better than uh, stock. So, stay tuned for the next video. And we will see you on the next video. Enjoy. Draco is next. Oh, what happened there? That tail wheel just like get stuck. Where'd it get crack? I don't even know. No, it works. All right, so you guys know the drill. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share with any other RC enthusiasts that you think might like this channel. So that's it for now. It's KBRC. We'll see you on the next one.